Welcome back. With a family in the entertainment industry, my next guest knows what it's like to grow up alongside a celebrity sister. Rachel McCord, a talented and well-known entrepreneur, model, and fashion blogger, also happens to be the sister of Nip Tuck star Anna Lynn McCord. Rachel's here with us to talk about her blog, The McCord List, her dreams, and so much more. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Joanna. I, I want to hire you as my publicist if you weren't so like fabulous and oh, already you're, rocking it. I'm like, you're what? So, you're, <laughs> you're, you're so, so sweet. sweet. I'm oh like, my goodness. nervous over here. And you're <laughs> <laughs> so happy to be here. My pleasure. All right. So you grew up on, with a wonderful celebrity. Well, you actually three sisters, right? You're the youngest, and you had some difficulty with depression and feeling low self-esteem, and I can't imagine why low self-esteem, you're so beautiful, but <laughs> tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so basically right when I was 13, my parents got divorced, um, my dad moved away, both my sisters left, all within three months. Um, I came from a difficult past, and I didn't really know what depression was, but I was just in this funk, and in hindsight, that's exactly what it was. And I think a lot of people struggle and they just don't know it. And it's, it's a big problem and it's something we have to address. So what did you do to get out of it, Rachel? How did well, you help yourself? Well, it took me a long time, actually. I, um, I didn't know what to do, but I was so like passionate about figuring it out. So I picked up every self-help book I could find. I was like in the, in the library at 14 years old, like, who is this? Who is this? And, um, and then a couple years ago, I discovered Louise Hay, and, right. mm -hmm, which we spoke about. I'm a huge fan of hers. I started doing positive affirmations. I did a dream board. And things just started to turn in my life. I had thought, what I'm doing isn't working, so it's time I do something else. And that's when stuff just really turned around. Now I'm married to the man of my dreams. I'm living this fabulous life. And I'm like, you know what? It's time for us to show the world and other girls, you deserve it too, because I didn't feel deserving of fabulous things. Right, and many girls and many women don't feel deserving and do suffer from, from low self-esteem. So what would you tell girls? What would you, how would you help them move past that to really see how wonderful, how beautiful they, they, they truly are? Yeah, well, I think it's really important to take the time to really look within and see what's holding you back. Because so many times we want to breeze over and just be like, okay, I want to get to feeling good. But there's something that's happening within. Maybe you're being bullied at school. Maybe the friends that you have, you know, they're kind of picking at you in a sweet little way, but it's like the crab bucket. It's like, right. no, don't right. be more fabulous than me. And so you have to take the time to figure out what's going on. And then you have to make the commitment to change and to fix it. And it's not going to happen overnight, you know. Um, for me, I realized that it took 30 days once I figured out the right formula. Um, and those were positive affirmations and going forward. But 30 days, that's not a lot of time because sometimes it takes people years and years. Now, you started your own business. I talked about you being an entrepreneur. You started your own business at 13. 13? Yeah, so I started working at 13, and I was I just knew I needed to create a better life for myself. And then um, started my first company later on. And, you know, what came of the McCord List, which is my company, right, right. it's about really inspiring women, millennial ladies, that you can live a fabulous life no matter where you are in the world. You can rock the Hamptons for $50. You can, you know, and I went to the Hamptons and I was like, why am I here? Like, I'm this like little girl from Georgia. Like, I don't even know what's happening right now. But, but then I started working through telling myself, I am deserving, you are deserving, we're all deserving no matter what you look like, where you live, how much money you have, it's not about that. And all the messages that you receive too that may have told you that you're not deserving. Totally. You want to do so much with your company, McCord List. So mm -hmm. tell us some of the, that dream. Yeah, so my big dream is just to continue to grow and to, to help more girls. Um, as my husband and I have advanced the McCord List, we've had a bigger and bigger platform to reach more people. So we're doing some really cool um, makeovers from the inside out to help girls to really achieve that feeling from the inside, because that's where it really starts. Right, because if you're not feeling it from the inside, it doesn't matter all the beauty, all the makeup, all the glamour, 
you still look in the mirror and you still don't you still don't see that beauty. Absolutely. Let's talk about your sister a little bit, Anna Lynn. She's mm -hmm. doing some incredible charity work and organization. Tell yeah. us about that because that really gets my heart going. Yeah, so Anna Lynn's really passionate about putting a stop to sex trafficking and she's literally goes to Cambodia like four or five times a year and is supporting 30 girls right now who have been rescued from trade. Wow. Mm -hmm. She's she's super passionate about it and um, my oldest sister Angel is as well. So, you know, me with my events background and party planning and engaging digital influencers, I'm always creating all kinds of events and trying to bring my sisters in and like okay let's involve the charity because that's what matters right the, when you're a, yeah when you're doing something of the heart that's that's really where where the meat is in my opinion you know I always believe that about be engaging your heart in some way that's what gets me going mm -hmm. what else is your vision for your for your company for for you for young girls what would you like to see happen Rachel well, my big little girl dream is um, is to be able to take the McCord list off a blog platform. Well, add to it actually, and 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 do something a little bit bigger. Um, you know, just to reach more people. I think the reality is is so many times we put on national TV and on the networks stuff that makes people feel bad about themselves and makes us feel like we need to compete with one another. And it's not like that. We need to encourage one another and to build each other up because when one person succeeds, one more person in this entire world is better. It makes the world better by one person when we choose to heal ourselves and I think that's important and I think I think it's so true and it's also important again it's not about competition it's about co collaboration and cooperation and you've done that beautifully with your sisters and with everything you're doing so have you I mean this show is <laughs> is phenomenal it's a perfect example of being able to use a platform that you've created to change lives and what more what what in the world would be more important than that well thank you and we're both here to change lives thanks yeah. so much for being thank with us thank you Joanne happy to be here still ahead dealing with trauma and violence are never easy and the author of a new sunrise joins us to talk about how he's been able to move on after violent and unthinkable trauma his story right after the break